What's up, MMA fans? It's Tudor Leonter from Short Dog here, and today I'm with UFC middleweight contender Phil Hose. Hello, Phil, and welcome back on Short Dog. How are you? Hey, but I was honored to be here. Thank you for having me. So, uh, listen, where are you right now? Right now, I am in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, getting ready uh, for uh, strength and conditioning. Um, but are you? I assume you are back uh, at your home, right? Or uh... Uh, yeah, for, uh, yeah, I live in uh, Florida. Yeah, I'm back in uh, Florida. Mm, okay. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I wish to ask you since you uh, fought just a few days ago, uh, if you're going to take some uh, some time off, you know? Uh, no, like no, not not too much. I got a fight in July, so just gotta stay ready, keep the momentum going, and get ready for that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> I was going to to ask a few questions about uh, your next fight, uh, uh, but before that, let's talk about your recent performance since you uh, defeated Kylie Dukas uh, via decision at UFC Vegas uh, uh, 26. Um, how, how was your camp, you know, in preparation for, uh, for that fight? Um, I, like I always say, I always say I don't do camps, you know, I, I train you around, this is, this, is, this is my job and I don't do boom off on, on, I have a fight coming up, let's get ready. I'm, I'm in the gym 24 seven. Uh, and I lived the uh, warrior lifestyle, just getting better. So my camp, my camp for Dawkins was the same thing I always do. I just up, up, uh, decrease the calories a little bit, diet, and make sure my cardio is on point. So there's no camps, just you know, just train more intensely. Um, yeah. Speaking about your cardio, you know, it, it seemed like it was a big factor in uh, in your recent recent fight. Uh, did you do something in, in particular, you know, to, did, did you work on it? I, I mean, obviously more than usual. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I know a lot of people are trying to, uh, that's your game plan to wait until I, to take a beating until they get tired, until I tire myself out from beating them. Um, so I, I, I work on my cardio with a, a med at Symmetry Fitness a lot. Uh, that's one of our key focal points. I'm, in the gym 6 a.m. every day every monday wednesday friday just grinding trying to get that cardio to the where it needs to be so i can put in these performances like that i mean you you are pretty bold you know you know you you have a lot of muscles i guess in here they also take a lot of oxygen you know from you so yeah it, it was it was quite, quite impressive you know to to see you going so much uh, in, in your last fight yeah, yeah, it was, um, it was just what we planned on, you know, we, we knew it was going to be a tough fight. I know Cal Dawkins is super tough, super game, um, never, uh, he's only got one loss in his record, you know, so uh, I knew I had to push, I knew I had to push my cardio like it's never been pushed before. Um, what was your, your strategy, strategy, you know, uh, your game plan uh, for the fight? Uh, my game plan for cow dogs is just do do what I do. Do just be me, have fun, and stay relaxed. And and I, I, I in my heart of all hearts, I believe I'm the best in the world. And um, I knew I was gonna come out on top. I just gotta do and perform. So I didn't really have a game plan for cow dogs. It was just go out there and perform, have fun. And um, you know, did, did something that he did surprise you? You know, while you were uh, in the cage. Oh, uh, maybe that spinning back fist he called me with. I wasn't expecting that. You know, um, yeah, I didn't know we were throwing spinning shit. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> I got, I got, I got, I got caught by that a little bit. It just stunned me, shook me up a little bit. But I got my, I gathered my bearings and uh, kept, kept moving forward. Yeah, in the second round, it looked like, you know, uh, you suffer a, a little bit his initiative. Uh, uh, how much hurt were you at that point, you know? Um, I wasn't necessarily hurt. Um, I was more stunned. And uh, it just took a little couple, couple of seconds to gather my wits and uh, get get back to business. So um, I wouldn't say hurt, just stunned. Mm -hmm. But I'm definitely yeah. keeping my hands up from now on. <laughs> 
Sure, uh, I, I was also going to say that a few seconds later, you know, you recomposed and you also start uh, uh, having so much more success uh, with your strikes. You know, uh, you start really clipping here uh, right before the end of, of the second round. What changed, you know, in your mind in those moments? Man, it's just be, just having that fight IQ, you know, making the right adjustments, not just see, like you said, or oh, what was the game plan, you know? If I did have a game plan, uh, you know what I mean? I maybe would have stuck to it, but I didn't have a game plan. It was like, I'm going to fight, I'm going to fight the fight, and I'm going to make small adjustments. And you've seen that adjustment. I got rocked, boom, I made an adjustment, and we kept it going from there. So it's just about increasing the fight IQ and not trying to be set in stone. Ultimately, you took a, an a unanimous decision from your opponent. Uh, Three judges scored, uh, obviously, in favor of you. Two, uh, two, uh, the uh, two of the judges scored 30-26, uh, while the, the third judge scored it 29-28. Uh, were you surprised that one of the, the judges gave uh, a round to, to your opponent? No, I mean, it's all perspective. It's uh, how they viewed the fight. They could be an ex-boxer or... Uh, non-wrestler or grappler. I'm not sure how they just fight, but as long as I get the victory and uh, put my best performance out there, then I don't care how they judge it. I'm going to get my hand raised either way. Yeah. Mm, like we were uh, saying before, you are not scheduled to, to face uh, Deron Wynn on uh, July the 7th, uh, the 17th, sorry. Um, wh what do you know about your, your next opponent? Um, I know he's a tough wrestler. I don't really watch my uh, opponent's fight too much, but I know he's a tough wrestler, and I can't wait to get in there and showcase my skills once again. I know he's got DC in his corner, and I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited to perform. Uh, I, I mean, uh, I saw your, your interview with uh, DC. No, um, were you a little bit, I don't know, anticipating that he's going uh, you know, to, to, to be... Uh, in, in the corner of your future opponents? Yeah, I'm, I'm sure he'll be there. I'm sure he'll be in. I know him and Duran. That's like his protege, and he wants him to do really well. Um, so, yeah, I expect DC to be in his corner, and, and that's cool. That's okay. You know, I, I had the cards stacked against me once before, and, I mean, they're going to keep me stacked against me, and I'm going to keep uh, rising to the task at hand and getting the job done. Um, talk, before I let you go, uh, a couple of, of questions. Uh, first, um, about your, your nickname, uh, it's pretty, you know, peculiar, Megatron. Uh, are, are you a fan of uh, Autobots? No, uh, <laughs> no, Transformers I'm not a fan. no, my friend uh, John Hamm, he gave it to me like uh, because, like, he says I transform in the cage because I'm a nice guy right now. We're talking, we're cool. But then say, um, what happened was there was one day we were, we were sparring, it was a sparring day. And before we're wrapping our gloves, having fun, playing, make, you know, making jokes. And then next thing we start sparring, I'm trying to knock him out, you know, uh, just transforming, being, I'm Phil here, we're talking, but if me and you were getting the cage right now, I'm gonna try to rip your head off, no offense. You know what I mean? No, just no, just no. transforming, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so just transformer, Megatron, yeah. No, 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 not taking it. No, I, I don't want that stuff, okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I wish. <laughs> and um, do you have any last uh, messages? Hey, I just want to thank you for having me on and uh, just feeling blessed. Thank God for the opportunity uh, to do what I love. Sir, uh, thank you very much for your time. Congratulations for your recent victory. And hof uh, hopefully I will hear again uh, from you in the future. You will, brother. Thank you. Have a nice day. Goodbye. Bye.